All right, my nephew Austin just called me up and asked me a question. He said, uh, Uncle Mark, what do you do if you have an algebraic kind of problem and an exponent is a variable? And the kind of thing he had in mind was something like this. What if you have 4 to the x equals 16? Well, we know that in this case that x has to equal 2 because 4 squared has to equal 16. But what do you do if you have some kind of weird problem where you don't really know what the answer is? Let me show you how we can handle this. Now the first thing I have to do before we get going is to introduce you to the concept of a log or a logarithm. There are all kinds of different logarithms out there. I'm just going to introduce you to the plain vanilla basic kind of logarithm which the technical name is called a log base 10. What is a log base 10? Well very briefly a log base 10 asks the question what exponent can I raise the number 10 to to get a certain number? So a logarithm answers this question 10 to the x if, if 10 to the x equals, uh, say, 30, then the logarithm base 10 of 30, there are other bases, but I'm not going to get into all the details, then the logarithm of 30 is equal to x. So how do you figure out what x would be in this particular problem, 10 to the x equals 30? All you have to do is go to your calculator and look for a key that says L-O-G on it, L-O-G. So what you do on your calculator generally would be to, to execute the following steps. Type in the number 30 into your calculator, and then type, uh, hit the log key. Now if you have a more fancy calculator like a, uh, a Hewlett Packard, uh, it might be the case that on um, some fancy HP calculators or some others, uh, they might require you to hit the log key first and then it might do something like this with some parentheses and then you put the number 30 inside the parentheses and then hit enter or something like that. Now if you're doing it correctly, let me do it on my calculator here, 30 and then I hit the log key on mine. The log of 30 equals 1.477121215. These digits tend to go on for practically forever. Uh, quite often. If the log of 30 is 1.477, what that's telling us is that 10 raised to the 1.477 power equals 30. Got it? Now, this only works, what we're doing right here only works if you uh, the number, if the algebraic problem happens to be of the form 10 to the x equals some number, right, n, or you know, whatever that is. Then all you have to do is take the log of that number, whether it's 30 or 40 or 50, and the log gives you that exponent. Now, what you really want to know is, is there a more general solution to any problem. Suppose we had some some problem like this. 3 to the x equals 5. How can we figure out what x is going to be in this case? The only thing we know just by looking at this problem is uh, this exponent has to be bigger than 1, but that's all we know. Let me give you a, a general rule of logarithms and I'm just going to make this up off the top of my head. Hopefully you'll follow this. Um, if you have an equation of this form, y raised to the x equals z, then if you take the logarithm of the y and the logarithm of the z numbers, Here's what we're doing. We want to take the log of both sides of this equation, right? Let me make that not equals the log of 
z. So if anything you do in, to an equation, you have to do to both sides of the equation. So if you want to take the logarithm of both sides of the equation, here is what happens. And this is going to seem wacky. Uh, this is going to seem a little weird. Taking the log of both, uh, both sides, what you end up with is this kind of equation. x times the log of y equals the log of z. Let's solve this particular problem, 3 to the x equals 5, and, and see how we would do this. So, so what we want to do is just take the natural log of both sides of this equation, which basically just means we're going to rewrite it this way. This is one of the, the main rules of logarithms. Take the log of, of something like 3 to the x, you get x times the log of 3. And that's equal to take the natural log of the other side, the log of 5. Now we're almost done. All we have to do is go to our calculator and find what is the log of 3. Well, x times the log of 3, I get 0.47712254. So 0.47712254. Two, five, four. Now you don't necessarily have to do this to all these decimal places, but the more decimal places you use, the more accurate you're going to be. That equals the log of 5. Let's see what the log of 5 is. 0 0.69897004. Now you have an equation that you can just solve for x. What we're going to do now is we're just going to divide both sides by the 0.47712254 and let's see what we get for x. 0.47712254 and we get that x is 1.46497 right again and you probably wouldn't always use all those decimal places, but the more decimal places you use, the better off you're going to be. Now let's check our answer. I, you should always check your answer in a situation like this. Is it indeed true that if we take 3 and we raise it to the 1.46489, Three, five, two, three power, do we actually get 5? And yes, you're going to get, if you put this in your calculator, you might get 5.000001 or 4.9999999, uh, but basically you see the idea. Let's do one more problem just, just to make sure that you see how this works. So what if we had something like, we were wondering, um, 45 raised to the x power is equal to um, 20, for example. What is x? Well, we go through the exactly the same steps. We take the log of both sides of the equation, which is going to transform it to look like this. x times the log of 45 equals the log of 20. And then we just need to take those two logarithms, the log of 45, 1.6532. So x times 1.6532. I'm not going to use the uh, ridiculous number of decimal places that I used last time. And on the right-hand side, we have the log of 20. So 20, the log of 20 is 1.30. 103, something like that. Now, to figure out what this exponent is, 45 raised to what power equals 20? Solve this little equation right here for x, and you will be golden. And it has to be an exponent that's less than 1, because 20 is smaller than 45, and that's just what we're going to get when we do this. 1 point, uh, let's see, divide that by 1.6532, and we're going to get an answer of approximately 0 0.786.
nine, seven, you know, something like that. So nine, I'll round that off to, to nine, eight. And again, whenever you do this, if you have the chance, always check your answer. Make sure if we take 45 and we raise it to the 0.78698 power, what do we get? Well, let me see. 45, and we're using the X to the Y key here, 0.78698, and um, what I get is 20.00069947. So a uh, little bit of rounding error in these kind of problems all the time, but that's okay. If you want it to be more precise and have less rounding error, don't round as much. So I hope this little short introduction to logarithms, what they are and how to use them, has been helpful. Good luck.